<clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. How are you guys doing? Okay, I'm trying to set. How are you guys doing? I'm back home to my curtain. Uh -huh. So this is going to be a rather quick one. A rather quick one. And uh, the conversation today is about uh, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Um, I saw the story on Arise News. Apparently, uh, the claim is that Chris Oyakilome has been anti-vaccine and he has been spreading the gospel against the malaria vaccine and blah, 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 blah. I want to state categorically that I'm not a fan of Chris Oyakilome. I also don't believe in his doctrines. However, this vaccine issue, it can't be like say something else they inside you. I mean, I only mean the reason this thing. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I have this sense coming upon me that after the money where they make with COVID, this malaria vaccine now just rinse and repeat. Baba, when a marketing or a business or an entrepreneurship strategy works, you could just rinse and repeat. No need to start. Brrr. A lot of people are saying, then there's this whole mosquito is the most uh, dangerous animal. Mosquito now by the most people. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. A lot of people are also, because I was having a chat with Simply Vic. Simply Vic was saying, Sama baby, I they see your message, I they reply. How far? So, here are my thoughts. I've never, ever been anti-vaccine in my life. Never. I took all the vaccines. I'm sure if you look at my hand, you will see my... Which vaccine did they take here? And all my kids took all the vaccines. As for the COVID vaccine, I took three. Two vaccines, one booster. Three. I took uh, AstraZeneca, first dose. AstraZeneca, second dose. And... Pfizer third dose. So I am not an anti-vaccine conspiracy theorist. Never. Not only did I support the COVID vaccine. Why? Because COVID was on a rampage. A lot of people were losing their lives. And I felt at that particular juncture, it was the only way or one of the only ways through which um, people could be saved from this scourge. A lot of people died from COVID. Some people argue that more people died from malaria than from COVID. But malaria get treatment. That time COVID was rampaging, there were no treatments. Everybody was trial and lock. I mean trial and error. It was trial and error. I know people who almost died of COVID. Alibaba, the comedian, for instance. He was in uh, that COVID place. Uh, what was that place called? Isolation Center. Another one of my friends in the estate too. He had COVID. And he was in the COVID Isolation Center. Lewis Hamilton, the, the popular... Uh, race car driver not only did he have covid he also had long covid that is covid that will be affecting you months and months after the attack so don't get me wrong i believe in covid i believe i took stringent measures i only stopped wearing masks 
Till now, if I want to go to market, I will still wear a mask. If I want to go somewhere that is densely populated, I will still wear a mask. I carry my sanitizer everywhere I go. They were laughing at me at Dotton's party yesterday. I carry it. So I'm not among the people that believe that COVID is not real. COVID is not real. Mm -hmm. Do we need a malaria vaccine? I think we do. But I'm thinking that this particular one, now rinse and repeat, it might be my, my me just being overly um, paranoid. Somebody said Nigerians say there was no COVID in Nigeria. Do Nigerians, do, do they know anything? Which COVID did you not have in Nigeria? Please leave Nigerians now. Nigerians are always the talk waiting they don't know. Do we have statistics? I know people that died from COVID. Only me, I know 30 people will die from COVID. 30. That's me we have, that I've talked to before in my life. 30 of COVID. So please, leave Nigerians. I always come and tell you. The same Nigerians will tell you. You know, here one sister yesterday that said they want to use Juju Kari and she's speaking tongues. Please, please, please. Let's tell ourselves the truth. So, on the malaria issue, I think we need more clarity from the World Health Organization and not clarity by agenda. Clarity by truth. I know why the world needed a smallpox vaccine. And I know through vaccine technology, the world was able to eradicate smallpox completely. It does not exist anymore. Meanwhile, this same smallpox was worshipped as a god among the Yorubas. It was called Shopono. So, do I believe in vaccines? Absolutely. Did I take the COVID vaccine? I took three. Two different types. I was ready to take a fourth one. They did not have me. I have a go carry. I, I carry I, me. I took AstraZeneca, two doses. Pfizer, one dose. But at the same time, is it wrong for me to be suspicious? Is it wrong for me to be suspicious? Malaria has affordable and available treatment. Someone said I took three shots AstraZeneca, two shots AstraZeneca and one J and J. What are the long-term effects of taking vaccines? A lot of people who push the vaccine agenda do not also talk about the risks. We have Biola, who's one of our Free Nation members, one of my lovely sisters, always hang out with me. She had very bad reactions to the vaccine. Nobody seems to be talking about that. Yes, the reactions were one in a thousand, but they were there. And I understand when you take reactions to covid okay you the, the amount of people that were losing their lives were more than the amount of people that were reacting to the vaccine so on a scale of probabilities i would say take the vaccine somebody say r.i.p to dan foster dan foster died because of covid So, it's like Ebola now. Ebola is rampaging and then they want there's a vaccine. That makes sense because more people are buying from Ebola than from the adverse effects of the vaccine. So, in this particular... Uh, someone say, Daddy Free, so you get car. Simply Vic, please help me tell them how many cars I have. You are laughing, ha 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 ha, I get a car. Is that a joke? Is that comedy? Is that comedy? So, back to what I was saying. Yes, I do believe in a malaria medicine. But there's no, in a va malaria vaccine. But there's really nothing wrong with also the malaria treatments. And then, here's the problem. The enforcement. You cannot go to Kenya. 
You cannot go to Dubai. You cannot go to South Africa without a yellow fever vaccine. Without a yellow fever vaccine. They will send you back from the airport if you don't have a yellow fever vaccine. If you like, be anti-vax from here to tomorrow. And sometimes when you when you go and forge the vaccine certificate, they will ask you some questions there. So the vaccine, did you take it on your mouth, in your tie? They will just ask you some questions. And say they will know that you did not take it. So they will not give you an option. Pay hundred dollars. Someone said that they sell the vaccine. They do. And once in a while, I've seen it happen to people before in Kenya. They will give you three options. Pay hundred dollars and collect the fine. Go back to your own country or stay three days inside quarantine at your expense. They'll give you those three options. One, go back home. We are not letting you enter our country. Two, two, pay $100. Vaccine will be 5,000 Naira for Nigeria. You will pay $100. It don't do me before for South Africa. I had to pay hundred dollars because I look. I was there for a weekend, the North Sea Jazz Festival. I came in on a Friday, and I was supposed to leave on a Monday. Me, that time I was a poor youth copper. I was just, I just started working cool FM. Hundred dollars was like the whole money where they give me to travel. Baba, I use everything, pay for vaccine. Hundred dollars that year. Now it will be like two hundred dollars. Oh, Jamila Raje, he pained me. So, what if they start doing that for the malaria medicine? Oh, yeah, malaria is a contagious disease. You must have the vaccine. And if you don't have the vaccine, you cannot enter UK. There are, there are ways of doing these things. I remember during COVID. Huh. To travel to the UK, you have to go and get COVID vaccine 24 hours before. You have to do it, do it, make sure you can travel. Then you get to the UK. They almost don't allow us to come back to Nigeria. Like they had house for us to be living inside the UK. Simply because there, they say, well, we'll go do one test. We'll go do one test. Nashina antigen, we go. They say, no, that's the wrong one. The next day, we have to now pay 170 pounds. Somebody is saying, take your hat off, Daddy Freeze. Amanda Aigbogun. Let me, let me tell you something that your parents need to hear. You are a badly brought up child. It's not like your parents could have done better, but because they don't know anything. As you dance, now so your papa and mama dance. For your mind now, you think you are your father's child. You are your mother's boyfriend's child. Let her tell your father the truth. They are coming to my life. They will tell me to remove my heart. Like if they opened your head, they will find anything inside except tapeworm that migrated for your, from your empty intestine into your brain looking for what to devour. Only to get into your head to realize that in a vacuum they the vacuous Amanda. Eh? Amanda, come here. Me and your father will be mate. If I don't address that, some people say that if you are too harsh, if I don't address the Olori Brukus like this, they will never have sense. How do you come to somebody who is older, probably richer, more influential than your father and tell him to remove your cap? Why no go fumba be any farm? Go and give your father a farm at home, Lori Buruku. Can I please continue? So my problem with this vaccine is, is it going to be forced again? Are we going to not be able to travel if we don't take vaccine? Is that going to be the route we are going now? Hi. Hi, Dara. Oh my God, this is my first time being on live like this. Anyway, you're looking beautiful. Tell me, what is your, you. what are your thoughts about this vaccine? Um, I don't really know. I don't want to talk much. I'm shy. I'm a shy person. Sorry. You are shy. Okay, okay. Bye. I didn't think you accept. No, I'm not that shy. We can talk. But we are talking about vaccines today. 
Do you know what a vaccine I is? I just came on. Yes. What I just came on like oh, Yeah, I'm asking a question. What is a vaccine? <laughs> I know. Please what is wait. vaccine in Yoruba? Ah, I don't know. And you are a Yoruba girl. I not really have quite though. I will give you fifty thousand naira now if you know vaccine in Yoruba. Jesus. The vaccine is just a normal thing now, like you know. <laughs> I don't want to talk much. I, mean, I don't want to disgrace myself. Okay, okay. <laughs> you can tell me. me that's you, that's you lose fifty thousand naira. Oh, Dara. <laughs> no, don't be like ah, Jesus. Ah. I've never been on live like this. <laughs> vaccine in Yoruba is called Abere Jesara. Fifty thousand naira. A bere a jesara. I must see people they I I no ask you now. She I ask. When I want come begin the regam, eh? APC PDP candidates in the house. I want Labour Party. So those are my thoughts. I'm not gonna stay long because I have to. Let me be honest. I have to get a massage. Okay. That doesn't sound nice. Oh, and then I have to go get a massage. That is why I have to leave. And I did not intend to spend more than 20 minutes talking about this. So do I support Pastor Chris going, um, being an anti-vaccine uh, pastor or seemingly an anti-vaccine pastor? No, I don't. But you see, this malaria vaccine, get as it be. Or it be as he gets. Hmm? He get as he be. Or he be as he gets. I'm going to say, where they want massage for your body? Every part of my body knew. Do you know up to two, three years ago? No, about two years ago. I never collect massage before. I never do my manicure and pedicure before for my life. Now taste buds carry me go. now hey, that's where i now disagree if the pastor mentions vaccine and antichrist no it's not the sign of any antichrist too that one i don't agree but do we really need a malaria vaccine i don't know but it sounded like rinse and repeat it worked the last time more run at me again it worked the last time more run am again. That's what it sounds like to me. This particular uh, vaccine. Not all vaccines. Give your children vaccines. I took the COVID vaccines. Um, my daughters took the COVID vaccine. The ones that were of age. Taste buds took the, um, the COVID vaccines. Someone said, Neuralink is the 666. I don't agree. 666 is an old Roman construct that has nothing to do with where we are now. You understand? Eh, we, we, they've unraveled the 666 and it has nothing else except the Emperor Nero. We, I don't want us to go into the controversies around that because it is, it's very deep. So... Uh, yeah, 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 that 666 is a Roman construct. If you know, you know. If you don't know, they will use Bible and be twisting your small brain. But for me, yeah, unless proven absolutely safe, not the one with COVID, as some people, as in 99.99% safe, I think the trial should continue with the malaria vaccine while atemicinin and other treatments should be encouraged those are my thoughts those are my thoughts it's not a matter of urgency to the point where you will now risk the lives of people who are doing okay normally we could take that risk with covid but malaria with the treatment at 1500 naira Nine one go give person heart condition on top. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. These are just my thoughts, and I may be wrong. And like I've said, I'm not. I'm not a 
Pastor Chris Fan. But him raising concerns here should not be, they should not just throw it away and say, hey, the, the pastors have come again. No. Let this particular come because I'm also worried. I'm like, okay, when I do the first one, I walk. When I want to do this one again, those are my thoughts. I love you all. See you later in the evening if the massage allows me to come and talk on social media because normally after massage, now my bed gets me. Take care. God bless. And see you all soon. Somebody say, Pastor Chris, don't pay you. I don't know Pastor Chris from anywhere. Why won't take pay me? Eh? Foolish people. Everything for you now. Pay, 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 pay. And if I render him a service and he pays me, is it a bad thing? Now me talk, say, make you can't do, you share ladder for this life. Eh? The lady boo. As Pastor Chris paid you. So everything for your own life that they pay you. I don't mind that kind of life. Maybe they pay me. I don't mind though. If I render a service, will he not pay me? Somebody say, don't sleep during massage. Ah, that's hard. That's, that's, that's a hard one right there. Because by the time they start money, massaging on my body, my lower body, my medium body, everybody body. Bye.